Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Well, the weather is very different than it's been the last couple of days. A cold front moved through last night. Didn't bring any rain or anything, but it definitely cooled us off. You know, it was really windy yesterday. So it blew in and, and it's supposed to be about 15 degrees cooler today than yesterday. And already this morning, there's it's, it's almost, it's almost chilly. It's in the low 60s. Uh, so compared to what we've had, this feels chilly. Oh, goodness. So much going on in the world today. Um, you know, not much different on the whole Iran-Israel front. Um, there's different rumors being spread on, on different sides. Israel is, is saying that Iran is getting cold feet and they're trying to figure out how to back out of it. And of course, there's, you know, other news reports saying that that's not true, that um, what they're doing is that Russia's been sending a lot of stuff there, and so they're they're building up their forces and they're they're getting ready to 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 make a big one. There's also rumors that Iran was holding off because they were finishing up building a nuke. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if I believe that one, but um, you know it could fit because the last several months we've been told that they're a week to two weeks away from building a nuke, and so you know they take a, a week off from war so that they can build a nuke. Uh, that's that's possible, but I don't know if it's very likely. Um, but also the reports are is that uh, the the Houthis and the and Hezbollah and all of them are getting real itchy trigger finger, and they're they're wanting to go ahead and start moving now, and and so who knows who knows what will happen. Um, migration, illegal kind, is is going up. I mean, I think probably most of us. Assumed that it would because of Kamala being nominated and, you know, having possibly a better chance of winning than, than Joe Biden and probably a much better chance of stealing it. Uh, but reports of thousands of illegals at the border in the last few days and very possible and, and, and very likely migrant caravans um, on their way also. In fact, there's been different reports of Many thousands of them headed uh, north to the border. So that's going to just, it's its going to keep happening. And when you look at what's going on over in England, um, I think every American should sit up and take notice of it. I feel like I got something in my ear. I apologize for digging in my, my ear, my eye. Whew. Um, I, I'm a little, I'm a little groggy this morning. Okay. I was up half the night, uh, on a call. So I haven't had very much sleep. So it's, it's, that's not my ear. That's my eye. Oh, but you know, these things keep happening and I, they're, they're all happening for a purpose. That's what we have to realize. I mean, not to get so caught up in the shock and awe aspect or then to the disappointment and the boredom because that's all part of the plan. The plan is to, to keep things chaotic and then back off just a little bit when it gets to that to that that you know point where things kind of spiral. Uh, because they don't want that. Because as, as long as people are are law abiding for the most part, as long as people are, are part of the system, right? They're they're participating in the system. They can be controlled. They, they may be terrified um, because of what's going on, but they can be controlled. When people start to spiral where, where it's, you know, chaotic civil war and all that kind of stuff, it's less likely to control them. So um, I think for now, you know, this this is the this is how it's been for quite a while. You know, get it to the point where it's so chaotic and everyone is terrified and then back off just a little bit, back off just a little bit. Let things cool down for the next the next big crisis, right? And so that's that's kind of where it seems to be right now. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to balance of which is more important right now. I have people ask that, and honestly, I don't know that it matters. But um, I think the illegal immigration thing is still is still the the biggest, most immediate concern that we have. Um, especially now that things are heating up in, in the Middle East. I mean, if you look at, at a lot of the stuff that's been going on recently, it's mostly been like in the United States, in England, 
uh, Bangladesh. Um, trying to think if those are you know any other places, places, other places in Europe. It's predominantly Muslim illegal migrants that are fueling violence. They're you know in England they're trying to impose Sharia law. There's there's groups patrols is what they're calling M migrant patrols are going out and they're trying to enforce Sharia law on British citizens kicking them out of pubs, not, you know, shutting down places that serve alcohol, uh, you know, attacking women that are inappropriately dressed, all that kind of stuff. Um, the stuff that's happening in Bangladesh is just, it's, it's over the top grotesque. And then the, here in the United States, we've had months now consistently of, of protests predominantly being led and done by Muslims or Muslim sympathizers. And these are these are people that, you know, they're pro-Palestinian or whatever it is. Um, this is something that it, there's seeming to be a worldwide kind of movement, uh, an increase in aggression, and violence. And of course, yes, I know it's, it has a lot to do with what's going on in, in Palestine, Gaza Strip, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm not saying Israel, Palestine, Palestinian, you know, the Palestinian areas. People get weirded out if I say the wrong word or if I don't use it in the exactly proper context. Um, but anyways, so th this stuff is getting worse. And I think this is also um, a, a, a big, important factor. I personally could see that that at least a good portion of these global world leaders want to have more islamic you know sharia law type stuff passed i i think they actually want it i think that's i've i've used that argument quite a bit that i think that that's part of this push of you know immorality and indecency you know just sick sexual devi deviancies and all this kind of stuff is to to go so far to the left that there's this outcry from the people to you know swing the pendulum back the other way as far as you can swing it and and you know it will end up in some type of sharia law scenario <sighs> things are just they're they're bleak in a lot of ways they're very unstable i mean that's for certain they're very unstable and so we we need to be paying attention to that you know I, it's, it's not that I'm racist or bigoted or anything. It's just, it is what it is. The facts are the facts. Uh, if you live in areas that um, have a higher concentration tr concentration of um, Islamic people, Arab people, f migrant people, you know, from Africa, South America, places like that, be cautious. It doesn't mean that they're all bad. I've I've known people in all of those categories that I just mentioned uh, that are amazingly awesome people. So please don't think that I'm saying that they're all they're all bad. But uh, right now, you know, we're dealing with a lot of violence around the world, uh, and some of it is a good portion of it's coming from those groups. So for you, for those of you that live in those areas, be cautious. Um, We all pretty much know stuff's going to get worse and worse between now and the election. And, and the closer we get to the election, it's it's going to get worse. And, and now that, you know, I guess Kamala Harris picked her VP, I, I don't even really know anything about the guy. He was the governor of Minnesota. That's about it. Uh, but I guess he's some real far left Marxist or whatever. So him and Kamala is going to get along great in that way. Um, there's... This is th this this election and this time period in the United States. Um, it's going to determine a lot, and the things that's going to happen between now and the election. There's going to be a lot of a lot of hatred, a lot of craziness, a lot of further divide in this nation. And even though right now some of you might say, oh, I think we're quite a ways off from some kind of civil war or societal breakdown or whatever, I don't think that we're that far away. And I think that it's quite well within the likelihood that stuff like that could happen 
in the next, you know, 30, 60, 90 days. And so, you know, continue your preparations on that. Um, personal defense preparations should be a high priority for you right now. Um, the prices are still pretty cheap, but, you know, the, the supplies are going to be drying up more and more. The closer we get to election, ammunition always dries up and prices go up in an election year. And, and this probably way more than, than any other. Uh, so be working on that. Keep stocking up on food. Uh, keep working on your plan if, if you have to live in your home locked down for a while because, you know, violence could pop up overnight within hours. You may not have enough of a warning to be able to get out um, if that's your plan. So you need to be able to lock down. So be working on that kind of stuff. Stay alert because we're just we're just waiting for the next boot to fall. There's been several, and and they're progressively getting worse, and so we have to just keep getting ourselves ready for the for the, for the next phase of this. And there will be there'll be a next phase, and it'll just be worse than the previous one, and it'll move them further down the road on the game that they're playing against us. So be ready for that, stocking up, praying up, prepping up, training up, all of that. You need to be getting your houses in order and preparing yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.